Well, well, good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. Just waiting for sound. We're just waiting for sound. We're waiting for sound. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. There it is now. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our prayer meeting. Are you excited? Amen. Those online, are you excited? Are you nothing? <laughs> uh, good to have you online with us this afternoon. Yes, we had an awesome, powerful, powerful time last week, last Sunday. And well, we're trusting God for an even more powerful time this Sunday. Amen. Amen. Like we said last week, this nation meets Jesus. You see, yesterday afternoon, I, wa I was, I was, we were watching the rapi, you know, but beforehand you hear people speak, and, and people would say, the nation this time need the Sprimox to win, so that this nation needs something positive. So this nation can be united again. And I thought to myself, if the Springboks continue winning, then this nation will only find their joy in sport, will only find their unity in sport. But this nation doesn't need its Olympians to come back with gold medals. Praise the Lord if they do. This nation doesn't need the Springboks always to win. Praise the Lord if they do. But this nation needs Jesus Christ. You mustn't wait for sport or events to build our faith, to unite us. We mustn't look to those things. We need to start to look to Jesus Christ. Start to look to the truth. To unite us to find our hope to find our strength in and to rebuild this nation because nothing will rebuild this nation the excitement the greatness of winning the world cup where is it now it's gone that unity it brought two years ago what happened two weeks ago see it could not sustain unity. It cannot sustain oneness. It cannot help to build this nation. It is only for a fleet moment that yes, we're all united, but then again it's gone. But in Jesus Christ, in the power of God and the Word, with the Holy Spirit, there remains unity forever. There remains oneness forever. And it's time that we as a nation stop looking to sport and, and events to unite us, but to look to the one whose name is Jesus Christ. And that's what we're going to pray tonight. That's what we're going to stand for tonight, to be united as one in Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to ask the worship team just to lead us in worship and guide us into worship, and from there we will continue to pray. Amen. your hands together. Let's declare it. When all I see is a bad, see a big tree. When I fight, I'll fight on my knees With my hands lifted I Oh God, the battle belongs to you 
every fear I lay at your feet I'll sing through the night oh God the battle belongs to you yes Lord we bring it before you Lord when all I see is a battle you see the victory where there is mountains when all I see is a mountain you see the mountain and as I walk and as I walk through the shadow your love surrounds me there's nothing to fear there's nothing to fear now for I am safe with you so when I fight so when I fight I'll fight on my knees with my hands lifted I oh God the battle belongs to you every fear I lay at your feet I'll sing through the night Oh God, the battle belongs to you. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees. With my hands lifted, I. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Every fear I lay at your feet. I'll sing through the night. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Yes, you are our fortress, Lord. Oh, almighty fortress, you go before us. And nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. Oh, almighty fortunes, you go before us. And nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. You win every battle. And nothing can stand against the power of our God. So when I fight, I fight on my knees. With my hands lifted, I, oh God, the battle belongs to you. Every fear I lay at your feet, I'll sing through the night. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Oh God. Belongs to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, we give you praise, Lord. Giriana Mosomia. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Lord, your word says we are seated together with Christ in heavenly places. And today as we speak, Lord, we speak from heavenly places at the right hand of God, seated with Christ Jesus. And we declare, Lord Jesus, order in South Africa, order in our country, Lord. We come against all evil works. We come against evil spirits. We bind it in the name of Jesus because your word says what we bind on this earth is bound in heaven and we declare it nullified in the name of Jesus. Lord today I want to intercede for those that are on the forefront of this nonsense in our country and I want to pray Lord for the salvation of their souls. I want to pray for the light of God to enter those dark hearts. I want to pray for an encounter Lord. We release an encounter of God over those lost souls. Those people walking in anger, walking in Lord, in all of 
this destruction to destroy. Lord, I thank you for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit. We call, Lord, that those people that are in the forefront of leading people into darkness, that they will have an encounter of the Lord God. We pray for them. Therefore, Lord, we declare them forgiven, forgiven in the name of Jesus. We forgive them for what they've done to our country. And we speak, Lord Jesus, your grace, your love, your power, your light to shine. Come, Holy Spirit, shine, shine, shine upon them, Lord. You can save the darkest of sinners. The most lost person is not lost enough for you not to reach out. So I pray, Lord Jesus, for an outpouring of your love, an unveiling of the Christ. Let the church arise, Lord. Let us be the true representation of who Jesus Christ is in forgiveness and in love and in reaching out. So we bless our enemies. We bless them, Lord, with an encounter of the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation to South Africa. Salvation, Lord, to the lost. Salvation, and Lord, I speak a rising up of the church. A rising up of the church. Church, rise up in the stature of Jesus. In the forgiveness of Jesus. In the love of the Lord. Unconditional love. Not love for those that are righteous and clean, but unconditional love for every person, every human being, because God is the creator of all. Lord, we speak your life. We speak your love. We speak your forgiveness over every person in South Africa, especially in this time, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, to the leaders in darkness, we speak life over them. An encounter of the Lord Jesus Christ for your glory. Lord, you promised that South Africa will see your glory. You promised the outpouring of your spirit. And we thank you, Lord, that we are at this great breakthrough. We are at this place, Lord Jesus, where we will see a mighty breakthrough of the light and the love of God. I thank you, Lord. We are almost at the stepping into it. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Darkness will bow. Darkness will bow. We see your glory. We see your faithfulness. We see your word in action. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. There's no fear with you, Lord. There is faith. There is power. There's victory in Jesus Christ. We give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 Do you believe the Lord is in control? Do you believe God is for us? Hallelujah. Get soccer of a boss. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. In Proverbs 28, verse 2, it says this. When a land does wrong, some translations, when a land is in chaos, it has many princes. But when the ruler is a man of understanding and of knowledge, its stability endures. When a land is in chaos, there's many rulers of many princes. But when the ruler is a man of understanding, knowledge, stability endures. And we're going to pray for our president. And we become the man of knowledge and understanding. A man that will bow the knee to Jesus. That the, that fire that was within him will rekindle again in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All glory to you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, pour out afresh and anew in our hearts, Lord. Lord, tonight we come and we pray for our president, Lord. We pray for our nation. Your word says righteousness exalts a nation, but sins we approach to any people, Lord. And therefore we want to proclaim tonight that we are a nation. We are a people of faith, Lord. And tonight we want to speak your word and your promises over our president that is the leader and the father of this nation, appointed by you, Lord. We want to proclaim your word over him, Lord, because your word contains wisdom, it contains love, love and it contains hope Lord and tonight we speak your word over President Cyril Ramaphosa Lord thank you Father that you will enlighten him you will give him wisdom Father your godly wisdom to 
walk in front of your, your people, Lord, to be a father to this nation, to prophesy over South Africa. God bless South Africa. Yes, yes, Lord, we are your children. And we come before you tonight and we thank you, Father, that you lead us in everything. Thank you that we are more than victorious, Lord. Just as the song just said now, the battle belongs to the Lord. And therefore we give over, Lord. We just want to honor you and give you glory. And thank you for the leaders that we have. Father, I pray that you will surround him with people, a people, a righteous people, a righteous nation, that your name will be glorified in and through all of this that's going on. Thank you, Father, that your glory and your light will flood this darkness. And no weapon that is formed against your children, Father, will prosper. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor because the victory belongs to the Lord. Thank you, Father. I pray that you bless our president, President Cyril Ramaphosa, Lord. I speak your protection and your peace over his, his heart, Lord, over his thoughts and over, also over his family. Thank you, Father, that you bless him and that he becomes a blessing to this nation. In Jesus' almighty name. I praise you, Father. I thank you, Father, that you are the, the provider for South Africa. And, and this nation is who God says we are. We are a peculiar people. We are God's anointed ones. And we give you glory, Lord. And we proclaim that we will arise. We will arise in our faith, Lord. And proclaim the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. You turn morning to dancing. You keep beauty for ashes. You turn shame into glory. You're the only one who can. You turn morning to dancing. You keep you turn shame into glory You are the only one who can You turn grace You turn grace into God You turn bones into armies You turn seas into highways You are the only one Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. Reba shindere le bo seke tere le bo bo yindere le ba yindara la ba seke torolo yindere le ba shara la ba seke toto tere le child of God righteousness of God tonight as we are standing here in this time of darkness in this time of despair I'm reminded of the man of God Job the man who was righteous the man who knew no evil. The man who was devoted to God in all things. Even today we are still the righteousness of God. We are still devoted to God. Hallelujah. It's not because God doubts us. It's not because God has left us. It's not because God has forsaken us. But it is because God is so sure of us. It's because God knows that through us his glory will be revealed. Job at one point he lost hope. But his friends picked him up and said, Job, you are the one who have been encouraging people. You are the one who has been speaking those words of encouragement. I want to say to you today, be that one who speaks words of encouragement. Be that one who still releases life. Be that one when people turn to you, they receive the words of God. Hallelujah. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for who you are, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your righteousness, Lord. We thank you that you have set us apart for your good works, Lord. We thank 
thank you, Lord, that you've made us your workmanship, oh Lord. In the almighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that there will be new spirit in each and every believer, new fighting spirit in each and every man and woman of God. In the name of Jesus, that Father, as we focus our eyes on you, Lord, as we're not looking back, oh Lord, as we're not looking to the left and to the right, oh Lord, but Father, we know that you are the way, oh Lord. We know, Father, Lord, you are the only hope that we have. We fix them, for Lord, our eyes on you, oh Lord Jesus. We pray, oh Lord, that you work in each and every heart, oh Lord, that your people shall go back to you, Lord, because, Lord, you said you who have heard the word, you must go forth, therefore, and never look back in the almighty name of Jesus. Father, we know that you have sacrificed this land, Lord. We know, Father, you've sanctified the land, oh Lord. Therefore, Lord, this land is called by your name, Lord. These people are standing firm on your word, Lord. We are the nation who believes, Lord. We are the nation who is given unto you, Lord. We are the nation who does not despair, Lord. We are the nation, Lord, who never gives up in the almighty name of Jesus, Lord. We stand united in your faith, Lord. We stand united in your glory, Lord. We know, Father, that the hope of God is in us, Lord. Therefore, Lord, we shall speak hope, Lord. Therefore, Lord, we shall release that glory like never before, Lord. Therefore, Lord, we shall speak your word like never before, Lord. This is no time to give up, child of God. This is no time to start doubting God. This is no time to lose hope, oh Lord. It's time to be renewed in the strength of the Lord. It's time to look up to Him like never before. It's time to get new power from Him. It's time to ask God and say, Father, we need you. It's time to say that, Father, we cannot do it without you. It's time to say, Father, we give up over to you. We give over to you each and everything, oh Lord. We give over to you our families, Lord. Our businesses, Lord. I know, Lord, if you need a business world, everyone is blaming everyone, Lord. But, Father, this is the time to stand together. This is the time to shout the name of Jesus. This is the time because Jesus is the strong tower. In the almighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' almighty name, amen and amen. I want to share with you the scripture in Psalm 116. I'm passionately in love with God because he listens to me. He hears my prayers and answers them. I cried out to the Lord, God, come and save me. He was so kind and so gracious to me. Because of his passion towards me, he made everything right and he restored me. Now I can say to myself and to all, relax and rest. Be confident and serene, for the Lord rewards fully those who simply trust in him. Even when it seems I'm surrounded by many liars and my own fears, and through I'm hurting in my suffering and trauma, I still stay faithful to God and speak words of faith. So now, what can I ever give back to God to repay him for the blessings he's poured out on me? I will lift up his cup of salvation and praise him extravagantly for all he has done for me. You might ask me tonight, what do I have to be thankful for? Let me tell you, your cup of salvation is enough to be thankful for. Remember there was a cup and he drank it. He who was no sin became sin so that you and I can stand here tonight boldly and receive mercy in his throne room. We can come and declare boldly, South Africa, peace unto you. Peace unto you. Relax, relax and know he is still God. Tonight we can be thankful and we lift our cup of salvation and we bring it to a thirsty South Africa and say, drink, drink the cup of salvation. There was one who said, by my blood and through your testimony, by your blood and through your testimony. Oh Lord, we come with our testimonies tonight and let's say, Lord, we remember the landmarks. We remember the signposts. When we walk through the valley of shadow of death, you were there. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us. You won't even slacken your grip upon us. Lord, we trust you. We trust you tonight. We rely on you like never before, Lord. Lord, you are the Lord to bless. Your word says you will bless according to your riches. 
not according to our small measures, according to your riches. Your word says that every spiritual blessing is already ours. We can just inherit it and walk boldly in it. Your word says you will direct our footsteps. Your word says when you need wisdom, just pray for it and I will grant it. Thank you, Lord, that we can stand firm on your promises tonight. We will not waver in faith, Lord. When we come and we see, we say, Lord, what my physical eyes see, I deny it. I, I choose to see in the spirit. I choose to see the victory that's already mine. And therefore, I can declare it. Therefore, I can proclaim victory over death. Therefore, I proclaim victory in a sick bed. Thank you, Lord, that tonight the cup is empty. That you have drank it all for every sickness, for every healing needed. Lord, for everything that must still come, that has already happened, Lord. Tonight we stand and testify of your goodness, Father, of who you are. We cry out to Lord, Lord. We say, where shall our help come from? Our help is from the Lord, our God, who made heaven and earth. Thank you, Jesus. We rejoice tonight. We rejoice in who you are, in what you can do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You turn rage into God. You turn bones into army. And seas into our ways. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. Sing it one more time. You turn. You turn ways into God. You turn bones into armies. Yes, Lord. You turn seas into our ways. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. Praise be the name of Jesus. In the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 5, the disciple says to Jesus, Lord, increase our faith. Lord, increase our faith. It makes us wonder why the disciples were saying, Lord, increase our faith, because they've been with Jesus all along. They've been seeing him healing the woman with the issue of blood, and Jesus said, your faith has healed you. They have seen the blind man being healed, and Jesus said, your faith has healed you. Now they have realized that their faith was not enough of those women, though they have been spending time with Jesus. So now I want us to pray for God to increase our faith. Hallelujah. Let us, God, increase. Let us pray to God to increase our faith. Lord, we come to you this evening. We come to you tonight, Lord, that even when we are the children of God, there are times where our faith is taken. There are times where our faith becomes weaker. There are times where our faith becomes lower. But now we come in your presence, Jesus, that increase our faith. That increase our faith. That increase our faith. No matter the situation, we will stand in our faith. No matter where we got, what we go through, we will stand in our faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that we will not lose hope, that we will not lose faith, that we will keep holding on into our faith, that we will keep holding on into our faith, in the name of Jesus. Marobo seketererebosia, ribababayanda rabose ketererebesia, ria kasetererebosia, andararabande, merebeshi katararabande rerebosia, mare kesetererebosia, rarabande. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. That when you step in the room, things change. That when you step in the room, situations change. And we thank you, Lord, that you are here tonight. That you are in our midst. We give you praise, Lord, for increasing our faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Halleluja. Halleluja. God is great and God is awesome. This morning when Pastor Francois was ministering, I was reminded about the life of Moses. And maybe you will ask, how is Moses applicable to the times we're in now? I can tell you the time when Moses was put in a little basket in the Nile River. He was poor. He was a pauper. But God decided to take Moses to the palace. And when he was in the palace, he became a prince. And when he became a prince, God decided it's not enough for you. I will make you a prophet of my people to lead my people. And when he was a prophet of people, God took him in his presence. And what is your life in South Africa's life different? Maybe our life is in turmoil now. The whole world is in disarray. I can tell you, maybe we think we are poor. But I can tell you, we serve a living God. You and me are the sons and daughters, the prince of the most high. And he will take us to a place where we'll be in his palace. He will take us to a place where we will be his prophet, where we can say, South Africa, we are more than victorious. He will take us to a place where we will say we are conquerors. You and me must need to get into his presence. And tonight I pray for any circumstances of fear, fear of failure or rejection of thoughts of fear. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want your presence in our lives. We need more of you because that's what's saving us. That's the only hope we have. And I want to read to you that a passage in Isaiah 43, verse, 43, verse 1. And it says that, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. You see, God is with us. We are victorious. You and me need to desire more of His presence. And that's why tonight we pray for our country. We pray for our presidents. We pray for wisdom. We pray for aisles to be unveiled, to see the glory of God. Because God says in number, num, Numbers 14, 21, As sure as I live, I will fill this earth with my glory. His glory will sweep over this country. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. 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 I just feel, especially with those who are online, if you know anybody that's sick, write down their name now on that live stream. The Spirit is just speaking to me. Write down their name. And right in the end, I know we've prayed, but right in the end, I feel my, my Spirit that Pastor Aldrich is going to pray for every sick person. Now in faith, go. Family, friends, any name that you know, write it on that live stream. And then you as well, you bring that people to remember if you sit here in the auditorium and when we the last person is going to pray it's going to be Pastor Audrey and we're going to pray for those we're not going to mention all their names but we're going to pray for all of them together in Jesus name Amen thank you Pastor Nir Hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus Lord, we come in this time, Lord, and we call upon your name, Father, and especially for those, Lord, we call upon your name for healing over them, Jesus. Lord, our hearts, our prayers are going out to those who are sick, Lord, those who are fearful, Lord, those that are struggling to breathe, Lord, those that are stressed, Lord, those that are in pain, Lord. We bring them before you. We intercede for them. We stand in the gap for them, for their healing, and we call over them healing in the name of of Jesus, restoration over their bodies in the name of Jesus. By the wounds and the stripes of Jesus, there is healing for them, Father. We call them, Lord, stretched out your mighty hand, Lord, over their bodies, over those sick people, Lord Jesus. We call upon your name, the Lord Jehovah Rapha. The Lord is our healer, Lord. Where shall we look to, Lord? Shall we look to the left or the right, Lord? But we look up to you. 
we look unto you, your glorious name means I am the healer. I am your healer. We call upon you, Father. Touch their bodies, Lord. We call for restoration over every cell. And those who've got COVID, Lord, stretch out your mighty hand, Lord. Bring restoration over every cell in their lungs, Lord. We call restoration, Lord, that they will breathe in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your breath of life inside of their lungs. In Jesus' name, no fear. Lord, we call for this war also in their minds, Lord. Am I going to live and am I, am I going to die? Lord, we speak life and life in abundance over them. We call the life of Jesus, the resurrection power of Jesus, the power that, re that resurrected Jesus from the dead is living on the inside. And we call them, Lord, to stand up and rise, not to listen to the voices of the enemy, Lord, not to, not to think that I'm, I'm not going to make it. Lord, that they will hear your voice. You are healed by the stripes of Jesus. You are healed, Lord. And that they will hold on to your hem, Lord, like that woman with the issue of blood, Lord. She held on to your hem, Lord. She didn't let go. And I pray that faith will arise in their souls, Lord. Even if their bodies are physically tired, Lord, they will not give up. They will take hold of your mighty, powerful name, Lord. And that they will be saved, Father. We call upon those that are sick with cancer, Lord Jesus, that's going through suffering and pain, Lord. Lord, we intercede for them, Father. We call healing and peace in Jesus' name. Lord, we rebuke the enemy, Lord. Sickness is not from you, Father. You have come to give us life in abundance. You have come to give us peace, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Restoration, Lord. As you are restoring, Lord Jesus, the unity in our country, Lord, as we have prayed so many times, as we are standing in the gap, calling for unity, Lord. We call restoration over the health of people, Lord. Lord, I pray that you will supernaturally lift up our immune systems, Lord, through this time, Father, that you will make us strong, even in our physical bodies, Lord, that we will not fear bad news, that we will not fear sicknesses and diseases, Lord, stealing our joy in life, Lord. But thank you, Father, that you touch our bodies in Jesus' name, that we will have wisdom as we're going in and out, Lord, but that you will touch our bodies, Lord, in a supernatural way. You are the God of supernatural things. Lord, and we expect supernatural power, Lord. We receive it now by faith in the name of Jesus. We shall not live by fear, Lord, but we shall live according by the authority that you have given us by the blood of Jesus. Every time we go out of our homes, Lord, we say, thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus that strengthens me, that strengthens my immune system, that strengthens the cells in my body, that strengthens my organs, my lungs, Lord. We thank you, Father. Thank you for restoration in our health. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord.
Yes, Lord, we need you, Jesus. We need you, Holy Spirit. During this week, I was re- remind, I was reminded of a scripture. In 2 Corinthians um, uh, 4 verse 18, it says, Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to him, not in, uh, uh, putting the trespasses to them, as has committed to us the world of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors of Christ, as though God were pleasing through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. And I was reminded um, uh, of what Pastor Francho preached a couple of weeks ago, Uh, And he mentioned it so many times on how do we see people and I was listening to people and how we speak and we're talking about us and them and they. And then this scripture, I was reminded of the scripture and and the Lord said, it's time that when we look at people and when we talk about people that we will talk about the Christ in them and that we will see Christ in people. And it's only by the move of the Holy Spirit that we will begin recognizing that we will be reconciled with Christ. And if we, are, uh, if we start changing the way we speak and the way we move and the, way, and the way we talk, we will see change. And it's only through the Holy Spirit and the move of the Holy Spirit um, that His Word will come in action. And, and I really want us to pray in the Spirit because this battle is not a battle in the flesh. It's a battle in the Spirit. And I think we must stand and let's start praying in the Spirit and say, Lord, here we are tonight. We... Um, Use us, Lord. We are the vessels, and we will bring reconciliation through Christ in this world. Hallelujah. Robara sando lo roba kasiando lo roba kasiando. Robala roba kasiando lo roba da sando lo roba kasikiando lo roba da sando lo roba kasiando lo roba kasikiando lo roba da da sando lo roba kasiando. Lord, we will fight this battle on our knees, Lord. With our hands lifted up, Lord, we will call on your name and we will speak to this nation. We will speak your word. We will declare your word over this nation, Lord. And Father, when we look at people, we will not see any color, any race, any flesh, anything. But you will see Jesus Christ reconciled with man, Lord. We will see your people reconciled with God and his kingdom, Lord. That is how we will see the world. And that's what we speak over the world and over this nation, Lord. Reconciled with God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for a move of the Holy Spirit over this nation, Lord. That you will come with your Holy Spirit and sweep over this nation, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We declare your word, Lord, because your word is life and life in abundance, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you tonight. We give you the glory, we give you the praise, for you deserve all the glory. There is none like you. There is no other God like you. No one has ever demonstrated love to humankind like you did. You love us in the past, you love us even today, and the future is secure. You love us. Father, we thank you. I want us to pray for the church in South Africa tonight. You know, when you read the Bible in the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, starting just from verse 1, the Bible says, In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. And Isaiah continued to demonstrate how was God situated, what was the posture, and what was happening in the surrounding of God. But you know what happened is that something significant happened in the history of Israel. King Uzziah died. This is a king that became king when he was 16 years. And he was in the throne for 52 years. And he just died. And he was a, a family member of Isaiah. He said, he, this is the highest level of devastation. I can't believe this just happened. But in that devastation, it was the greatest revelation of God. 
because he saw the Lord. I'm sure, I'm sure all the time he was seeing King Uzziah, all the time he was seeing the Jesus that Paul is preaching, but he came to a place where now he saw the Lord directly. And when you read in in Isaiah chapter 8, chapter 58 rather, verse 12, now he's saying your people will be called the rebuilder of the broken walls. So the devastation is gone. Now everything is in control. I want the church to rise. Even though we see the greatest devastation with people dying on our left and in our right, with the, the politics falling, the, the, the lack of moral and the abuse of rights and everything is happening, corruption, everything is just chaos. But in that darkness, your light will shine. Your light will shine. If you can just arise and shine, child of God. For the light of the Lord is ready and available. Father, in the almighty name of Jesus, we pray for the church this evening. The church that Jesus died for. The church that took his breath away. The church that made him to drop the last drop of his blood. Lord, he cried out. It is finished. We declare, Lord, that that cry, it was not a meaningless cry. It was a truthful cry. Indeed, it is finished. Victory is ours. Irrespective of what we are seeing in the greatest devastation as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. For we know, we know, we know, we know you are with us, Jesus. For you promise you will never leave us or forsake us. You will be with us in the midst of all adversity. Even the storm is rising. Even when the storm is raging, you are with us. You are not a fearless God. You are not a God who runs run away from problems. You are a, fr- a God who will confront situation. And you said we must speak it. We must confess what we want to see. And we declare tonight there is restoration in the nation of South Africa. There is restoration of constitutional values in the nation of South Africa. From the top man, His Excellency, Senator Ramaphosa, to the least. We declare alignment in Jesus' almighty name. Lord, everyone who will come with confusion, we set them apart and we, uh, we proclaim the, the word of God and the authority of Jesus Christ in Jesus' almighty name. We call peace in our nation. We rebuke racism. We rebuke se- de- uh, segregation, racial segregation, hatred among the people. We rebuke violence in Jesus' almighty name. Even the violence that is going on between taxi drivers taxi association we silence it tonight in the almighty name of jesus lord we take authority for you gave us authority the ability to declare authority and to set rules and you said whatsoever we declare it will be established and we step on this word and we declare peace in the nation of south africa and it's established in jesus almighty name amen Come, Holy Spirit, come fall upon this nation. Come fall upon this nation. I want to ask Pastor Francois just to pray for us now. Because that's what we need. We need the power of the Spirit upon this nation like never before. The Spirit that sets people free. The Spirit that changes people. The Spirit that brings conviction. But a Spirit also that brings truth. The Spirit that brings healing and restoration. We thank you, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Come with your might. Come with your power. 
is not by might nor by power but is by the spirit of the lord we say thank you thank you my lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus let's worship the lord please let us all stand to your feet lift up your hands let the power and the presence of god fill every prayer right now in the name of jesus come holy spirit we hide underneath the wings of almighty my rock my fortress my battle stand at my shield my buckler the name above every other name the name of Jesus 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 the angels bow down before the name of Jesus Come on, the glory of God is in this place. <laughs> glory be unto the Lamb of God that was slain for this world. Glory to the Lamb. His blood being shed for us. And by His strength we are healed. Glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory, glory. glory. to the Lamb. In the heart of the soul, in the heart of the soul, in the heart of the soul, in the Yes, we give you praises, Jesus, 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 Jesus. All the glory, all the honors. The giri ana masoh, the asoh, the asoh. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the angels we sing. With the angels, with the angels we sing, we sing. All the glory, all the honor, all the honor, all the worship, all the worship to you. Yes, it is unto you, Lord. It is unto you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy, holy. In the name of Jesus, Gustav clapped and be healed in Jesus' name. Juan Brill, receive your breakthrough. Be released from that ventilator in the name of Jesus, we agree. William Kinnear, in the name of Jesus, we bring you before the living God. And the breath of life is resting upon you. Oh, Ah, uh, bravo of Shiva, in the name of Jesus, receive a breakthrough right now. I need a mighty hand from a mighty hand of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, you are the for fear and rebuke. We rebuke the cancer. We take authority in the name of Jesus. And I call upon the fire of God to devour every cancer cell in his body. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for a breakthrough tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Rebo Sekatele Papa 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 Banda. You have called Wally Houston by the name of God. You protect him like the apple of your eye. I bring Rita before you, God. I bring Yaku before you, God. And I thank you, Jesus, that you are the eternal God. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. And there is rest in the name of Jesus. 
Come and give him praise for your breakthrough. Come and spirit, soul, body, relationships, finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, do not settle for less. But receive in Jesus' name. Receive. Receive, receive, receive. Father God, I pray as we delight ourselves in the Lord, you will give us the desires of our hearts above and beyond that we can ask and pray and i pray for each and every individual here each and every family that is represented here and also on facebook for social media platforms lord on each and every platform let the glory of god come and take over oh god i thank you for a divine intervention you are our help in present danger i give you praise in jesus mighty name thank you god thank you thank you father thank you lord in the morning you hear my prayers in the evening you hear the cry of my heart and now by faith i watch to see the answer i expect your mighty hands i expect a miracle I expect a breakthrough. I expect your supernatural divine provision. I am expecting the God to see the glory of God be revealed in and through every situation because you have said in this darkness your light will shine. I give you praise. You shine your light in this place tonight, Holy Spirit. Come and reveal yourself. Come and glorify yourself. Oh, come and reveal yourself from the platform of our hearts. You have prepared a table for us, even in the presence of our enemies, Lord. And I declare the best is yet to come. The best is about to happen. Oh, we give you praise, oh Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Come and lift up your hands. Just believe and receive and thank Him. Give Him praise in advance. Give Him praise in advance. To you be over glory. Over oh, honor, over oh, praise. and give the Lord Almighty and of praise and a shout of triumph, shout of victory. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Lift up the name of the Lord. Let's give him a hand. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. For your wonderful, your awesome. Come, lift him up. Lift up, lift up his name. Just give him praise. Just give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. Do you belong all the glory, all the praise and all the honor. 
Thank you, Lord, that again tonight you've heard our praise. That you were within our midst again tonight. Because you say, we're two or three gathered in my name, there I will be. And I thank you, Father, you have been with us again tonight. You've been with those that have been watching online as well. God, we thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, I want to pray for every person here and everyone watching. God, I especially feel I want to pray for their finances in this stage as well. There are so many people are struggling financially. So many people have lost their jobs through what happened in this last week or so. So many businesses are struggling. I pray, Father God, for supernatural favor upon those people. Lord, as I start to serve and I start to give, in spite of this situation, not because of the overflow, but out of the gratitude, out of a heart of thanksgiving, out of obedience, that you'll open doors for them, Father. You give them favor. The favor of God and the favor of man will be upon their life. And they will see the hand of God in their finances. Not just for them just to be blessed and to be happy. But that I can be blessed to be even a greater blessing in your kingdom, Father. Bless your people. As they faithfully sow, faithfully give towards your kingdom and your work. God is reminded again. What we say when we go into the hostels, we speak to those nurses. Why do you say, even if you give a glass of water to the least of these, you've done it unto me. And when we give, we don't give to a church. We give unto you that takes that finance again and builds your kingdom again. And it's an honor for us to give unto you, Lord Jesus. I thank you that you'll bless those who give. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming. Those who are here, if you want to sow, yes, bags, it's a cloth machine. For those who are watching online, there will be a clip that shows you online. You can go on the website on our on our app and to see the bank details as well. Just remember, just after now, half past six is destiny training. Uh, for those who are here, there's one or two teachers will be here. You can, you can do your class here. The rest will be online. Zoom starting half past six. And then remember, Friday, Monday to Friday, five uh, 6 o'clock to 7, a daily devotion every Friday. Please tune in 
I know his wish on Facebook page. If you can't watch it now, watch it later, but please also share it on your page. Because like I always say, if somebody that's connected to you that needs to hear that word for that day, they will change their life. Again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming. May God richly bless you this week. In Jesus' name we say, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning into our online service. We hope that this message has truly blessed you and touched you. These are the following ways in how you can give and donate into this ministry. On our His Vision app, on www.eastvision.co.za on Zapper Snapscan If you'd like to partner with us, you're welcome to sign a debit order form.